First tonight at 10, a story you'll see first here on Fox 56. Granton Detective Kyle Gilmartin is suing the parents of the alleged gunman who shot him while on duty earlier this year. Good evening, I'm Ann Lurie. And I'm Aaron Leedy. Our Jake Sarwar sat down with Gilmartin's attorney and shares what the new lawsuit means. It's been nearly eight months since Scranton Police Detective Kyle Gilmartin sustained gunshot wounds to the head. Gilmartin was one of three officers sitting in a car in West Scranton investigating gunshots when 21-year-old Aiden Dininger allegedly fired five shots into the cruiser, hitting Gilmartin twice. Being shot in the head and having part of your skull removed is about as much pain as an individual can experience. On his road to recovery, Gilmartin filed a civil action complaint against the alleged owner of the gun Dininger used. Only filed at the beginning of August, Gilmartin's attorney says the case is still in the beginning stage. We have what we call uh, the pleadings stage, the discovery stage, and then the trial stage of the lawsuit. Attorney Brandon Swartz filed a case that alleges Alex and Crystal Eastman were negligent firearm owners. We believe that the gun owner uh, holds ultimate responsibility to make sure that the gun does not get into the hands of the wrong person. The lawsuit includes one count of negligence and one count of negligent entrustment. Swartz alleges Dininger was not prevented from accessing the firearm. By not having the gun locked away from somebody who had these otherwise propensities, that's why we are placing blame and fault on the gun owner. Swartz has asked for the case to go to a jury trial. To do so, the Commonwealth asked for a pleading requirement. Each count represents $50,000 in damages, but is not the settlement demand. The jury will make that final decision. Swartz, however, says Gil Martin has come a long way, but is still on the road to recovery. And he experienced enormous pain for a substantial period of time. But he has definitely turned the corner in that respect, and he is experiencing improvement all of the time. If the jury rules in Gil Martin's favor, monetary damages will most likely come from the homeowner's insurance of the gun owner. In Scranton, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first of 10. Swartz says Gil Martin is hopeful to one day head back to work as an officer.